Pulling and towing your BW260 incorrectly can not only damage your machine, but it can damage the vehicle that is towing your machine. Before towing your machine, you need to check the following. Check to make sure your machine tires are inflated to 32 PSI, the lug nuts are tight on each wheel, and the tires are in good working condition. Also, make sure to remove all loose items on the machine. You will need a 2 inch ball on your truck to tow your machine correctly unless you have upgraded to the Bulldog Hitch. Now that you have checked everything, we can drive the broom behind your vehicle. Make sure your brush on your broom is off the ground and locked in, then drive your machine behind your vehicle, leaving about 5 feet between your vehicle and the broom. Now that your machine is behind your truck, you can turn off your machine and set the parking brake. Once the park brake is set, pull the pin so you can release the tow hitch. Lower the hitch on your machine and guide the person in the truck back until you can put the tow hitch on the ball. Once you have hitch on the ball, lock the hitch, put the breakaway cable on, plug in the lights, and finally put the safety chain on. After you have everything hooked up, release the brake valve. Now we need to make sure the tow lights are working correctly on the machine before you travel. Now that you have your machine hooked up to your truck, you need to unlock the hubs on the rear wheels so that your machine will roll freely without turning the hydraulic motors. To do this, pull the pin towards you and then rotate 90 degrees so that the pin lines up with the top grooves and push back in. Make sure you do this to both rear wheels. This is a very important step to remember and forgetting this step can cause severe damage to your machine. The last step you need to do is turn the free flowing steering release valve towards tow. This must be done to make the front wheel move freely. Once you have completed all these steps, release the parking brake on your machine and pull it a short distance to make sure your brakes aren't dragging. Once you have checked that the brakes aren't dragging, you are ready to go. Let's do a quick review. Remember to do the three point pre-check, then lock the brush, hook up the hitch to the truck, release the brake valve, check the tow lights to make sure they're working, unlock both rear hubs, and finally turn the free flowing steering to tow. Now you're ready to go. The speed at which you tow your machine depends on the conditions and your personal judgment, but do not exceed 45 miles per hour. Gross manufacturing will not be responsible for neglect or poor judgment at any time during the towing of the machine. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to visit our website at www.brosbroom.com for more helpful tips.